Welcome back. Today is a pretty exciting day, at least for me anyways, because I'm going to do my very first carves ever on my new Onefinity CNC machine. The first carve I'm going to do is a 24 inch by 24 inch grid on my spoil board. It's going to be made up of 2 inch by 2 inch squares. And the purpose of that grid is to help you align material square to the machine um, when you want to do a carve. The second carve I'm going to do is a sign for my buddy's poker room. I did both designs with the desktop version of vCarve software. Uh, the G-code is saved onto the thumb drive, so all I got to do is plug the thumb drive into the machine and set it up and hit the play button. So let's get to it. I have the G-code for the spoil board grid loaded on that thumb drive, which is plugged into the machine. I have the first one loaded up, which is the main uh, bulk of this. It's, uh, it's a 24 by 24 grid. All we have to do is bring this over here. So we put the uh, probe block on there, hit probe Z and it tells you to test it. So this little magnet goes onto the collet and then you just touch this block to the bit and it tells you you're good. It has a good connection. Hit continue and this will slowly lower itself until it touches that block. Go back off, do it one more time. There you go. This is probing complete, it's done. What this does is now the machine knows the exact distance from the tip of this bit to your work surface. I'm going to put the dust boot on. And now we should be able to just hit the play button right here. And uh, it should go to town. It's going to get noisy. I'll turn the sound down on this, but I'm going to turn the vacuum on, turn the router on, uh, hit the play button, and we should uh, see some action here. First cutting action from the uh, Onefinity Woodworker CNC. Well, I would call that a successful first carve. 
That is a 24 inch square 2x2 two two grid. So we put some lines on a board while that's fun and all. Uh, I want to try something a little more interesting. I play in a poker game with some buddies of mine and I made up a quick little sign uh, to take over there to show them. I'm just going to do this on MDF. It's just a test. So um, we'll get this set up and get it going. <laughs> So I just attached this board to my spoil board. I don't have a clamp system yet, but I'm using this. Uh, it's called Sure Tape. It's a double-sided tape. It's supposed to be really strong. Um, hopefully it holds this in place. It's, I mean, it's stuck on there really good. I think it's going to be fine. And like a dope, I stuck it. I should have stuck it right in the corner. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I stuck it on the 2x2. Two Rehome my machine. If you're not homed in and you start moving this around, especially on high speed, the machine doesn't know its limits and it'll hit side and it slams really hard. So right now I'm homed. It's showing the all the positions zero 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 on my display here. If I move it to two by two, I'll be exactly right on this corner.
So the tape worked great. sign first of many hopefully I'll take this to poker tonight let the guys check it out um, I think I have time to probably paint this and then sand it uh, really make the letters pop um, that'd be cool it says the river casino at T Lander estate that's my buddy's house uh, and then a little poker quote from uh, Oklahoma Johnny Hale I never saw a poker players money I didn't like so uh, they should get a kick out of this. enjoyed the video um, the sign I think turned out great the uh, letters are nice and crisp um, I just painted it in there with a brush kind of messy sanded it off uh, nice and smooth and it really turned out nice the guys were really blown away by it when I took it uh, over to my poker night so if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this content remember to like subscribe ring that notification bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you for the next one